Hi, I'm Josefina Estrada, and welcome to Boiler Bites, the show that gives you an in-depth look at what's happening on the Purdue campus. In 2007, Purdue Athletics began the largest and most significant facilities upgrade in the history of Purdue sports, called the Mackey Complex Project. This project included improvements to the varsity soccer complex, the construction of a new football practice field, a brand new softball stadium, and baseball stadium. But the centerpiece of this upgrade was a $99 million renovation of a beloved campus landmark built over 40 years ago. Purdue is looking forward to even brighter days in its new basketball arena. Measuring 300 feet in diameter and seating over 14,000, it is scheduled to be completed by the 1967-68 season. When Mackey opened in 1967, there wasn't anything else like it in the country. It was the first of its kind, a circular basketball-only arena. You know, basketball in those days had been played in, in field houses. It was state-of-the-art, it had all the bells and whistles you'd want for 1967, and really was a transformational project on this campus. The game itself was a real barn burner. Uh, UCLA was the first opponent. Uh, of course, the Bruins uh, uh, were coached by John Wooden, an All-American at Purdue in the 1930s, the first of many, many uh, great games here in Mackey. The place has such tradition and just such a great, great feel. It's one of the best venues in the country. Uh, it's one of the most advantageous venues in the country in terms of how loud it can get. There's some games where it's deafening. You know, you can't hear because it's so loud, especially how the, the seating arrangement is. Everybody's like right on the court, the, the fans, the stands. I just like the old school feel about everything that we have here, so I think it's the best arena I've played in. It's a throwback facility, but yet they've done a good job of, of keeping it up to speed, up to date. Mac was first built in the late 60s. We only had men's sports on the intercollegiate uh, athletic side. They were all housed here in Mackey as far as locker rooms and equipment rooms and shower facilities. Those were all great and top of the line in 1967 had become a bit outdated by 2007. We're behind. And it doesn't mean you still can't have a good team, but in today's world, you know, kind of that, that arms race of having a nice venue along with all the amenities, you know, it's really important that you have those things in the recruiting world. We did some amazing things with tradition and history, but everybody else in the country had those great facilities. We had to improve the things around the experience to help the product so we can continue to get great players you know, here at Purdue and have great teams. We embarked on the Mackey Complex project. It was a four-year project it involved keeping Mackey's tradition of a great basketball venue, but bring it into the 21st century for the student athletes, for recruits, and, and for the fans a group of students that had the idea to, to put the wing onto Mackey. When Mackey was built, there were a number of offices uh, for coaches and other staff uh, that were along the concourse. So all those offices were moved out and put into the wing. And the concourse actually was doubled in, in width. So we enhanced the fan experience with the wider concourses, more concession stands, more restrooms. And then we did a Ring of Honor, which is kind of a, a circular museum that tells the history of, of Purdue basketball. I think if you ask any player who was here pre-renovation to post-renovation what they liked the most or thought was the best uh, upgrade uh, would be the locker rooms. Uh, the men uh, went from 1,100 square feet to 4,400 square feet. The women from less than 800 square feet to 4,400 square feet. You know, we had a very tiny space. 
and now everything's equal. And so, you know, they have a great lounge area, they have a computer place, they have their own locker room. Being able to walk into to those things as a recruit, I think more than anything, it, it's impressive. And, and they did a great job with it. And then to be able to walk into our practice facility, and we didn't have one before. That's been a great addition to us. I think guys come in whenever they want throughout the day. You don't have to worry about having court space. It's really like your own space. You know, you can close the windows, um, there's speakers in there, and you're just, you're just in your zone when you're in there by yourself. What we were able to do in the Mackey renovation just didn't touch the men's and the women's basketball team. It touched it, you know, all the student athletes. And the way we also put a new sports medicine center, three to four times larger than what we had before. But guys get hurt, you know, that's, you got to prevent injuries, but also after you get injuries, guys are in the our sports medicine facility a lot. The cold tubs and the underwater treadmill and things like that, so things you can do on your off day and just keep your body working hard and keep your body functioning. And then we added a, a weight room, a sports performance facility. It's more than just raw lifting weights. There's so much more to it. It's the entire sports performance package, and, and that area is, again, as good as any uh, in the country. It's so nice here just compared to other places. It's amazing. You got a practice court now, you got new sports medicine, you got a new weight room and all of that. So I think it's really helped our program as a whole. You got that nostalgia because of the history coming from the late 60s on. You have a lot of tradition with it, but yet, you know, you have a lot of newness to it that really makes it unique. We feel for a 40 year facelift, we made a pretty bold statement. The Mackey Complex project was completed on time, on budget, and without the use of any university or state funds. To get an up-close look at one of the nation's premier and newly renovated collegiate basketball venues, visit this website for Purdue men's and women's basketball ticket information.